Hello and welcome to the, this video on Formula 1 aerodynamics. Formula 1 racing is an incredibly complex sport and one of the most important aspects of the performance of these cars is their aerodynamics. In this video we'll be discussing the basics of Formula 1 aerodynamics and the different aspects that go into making these cars the fastest on the track. One of the most important aspects of Formula 1 aerodynamics is downforce. Downforce is the term used to describe the force that pushes the car down onto the track, allowing for greater traction and stability at high speeds. This is achieved through the use of wings on the front and rear of the car, and the floor of the car that generates a high pressure area above the car and a low pressure area below it. According to Bernoulli's principle, as the speed of the fluid increases, pressure decreases. The wings on an F1 car create a higher speed underneath the wing, which creates a lower pressure area, and a lower speed above the wing, which creates a higher pressure area. This pressure difference creates downforce and helps the car stick to the track and take corners at incredible speeds. Another important aspect of Formula 1 aerodynamics is drag. Drag is the force that resists the forward motion of the car and is caused by air resistance. In order to reduce drag and increase the speed, Formula 1 cars are designed to be as aerodynamic as possible, with sleek, streamlined bodies and minimal protrusions. This allows them to cut through the air more efficiently and achieve higher speeds in a straight line. The more contact the body of the car has with the air around it, the more drag there will be. Normally, having less drag also means there will be less downforce. The key to a fast car is to have a good balance between drag and downforce and to change the balance between every track. Tracks with less corners and more straights will need less downforce and more drag reduction, while wind windy tracks like Monaco will need more downforce because straight line speed is not vital. A third aspect of Formula 1 aerodynamics is balance. Formula 1 cars need to be perfectly balanced in order to achieve the best possible performance. This means that the weight distribution of the car needs to be carefully balanced between the front and rear, and the downforce generated by the front and rear wings needs to be balanced as well. If the car is not balanced correctly, it will be difficult to control and may not be as fast as it could be. If there is too much downforce being created on the front of the car and not enough on the rear, the car will create oversteer. When there is too much downforce on the rear and not enough on the front, the car will have understeer. Understeer is a lack of grip in the front tyres, causing the car to wash out in a straighter than desired line. Oversteer is when the rear tyres lose grip and step out from underneath the car. This would look similar to a drift. Simply, understeer will result in the front of the car hitting a wall first, while oversteer will result in the rear of the car hitting a wall first. Both result in slower lap times. As we talked about previously, the front and rear wings work by creating a low pressure high speed area underneath the wing and a high pressure low speed area above the wing. This video of the model F1 2022 Ferrari shows the downforce being generated by the rear wing. You can see the car visibly move downwards at the rear as the wind hits the rear wing. This video does not show Bernoulli's principle in effect, but instead how the front wing creates downforce through Newton's third law. As the air is pushed upwards due to the shape of the car's wing, the car is pushed downwards in an equal and opposite direction. Spi side pods are also a key part of the car. They manage the flow of air around the body of the car and also house the radiators that cool the engine. After this batch of flour was blown into the model, it was found that a large amount of this flour had made its way into the side pod highlighting how F1 cars are streamlined in a way that directs airflow into certain areas. The floor is a part of the car that has become extremely important in recent years following the rule change surrounding ground effect which happened in 2022. The floor creates a high speed area underneath the car resulting in low pressure and therefore sucking the car to the ground. As you can see on the model, the floor starts with floor fences that stick out and help guide airflow under the car and accelerate it outwards through the diffuser. This acceleration of air creates that much wanted low pressure area and helps create downforce under the car. 
As it was said previously, F1 cars need to be adaptable to different tracks. To change how much downforce and drag a car creates, engineers change the angle of attack of the wings. Wings with a higher angle of attack, like this one shown on the right, will create more downforce but also more drag, while wings with a lower angle of attack will do the opposite, less downforce but less drag. This is clear to see in this photo, taken after the experiment on the model. The higher angled wing has more flour on the wing tip, suggesting that more air hit this part of the wing, and thus created more downforce and drag, while the lower angled wing had less flour on its wing tip, which created less drag. In conclusion, Formula 1 aerodynamics is a complex and important aspect of the sport. The design and performance of these cars is heavily influenced by aerodynamic principles. Understanding these principles is essential to understanding the sport. I hope this video has provided you with a basic understanding of the different aspects of Formula 1 aerodynamics and I thank you for watching.